Hi there, I'm Randy Peterson, and over the past eight years, I've been to hundreds and hundreds of pubs, bars, and joints across America. Places with amazing history, incredible people, and riveting stories. These places are not just another PB&J. Well, PB&J finds us in Green, Texas, and this place is in the heart of Texas, and it's about old school Texas as it gets. Well, we're in historic downtown Houston at K. Spetzel Brewery, Shiner, Shiner Box, Shiner Light, home of some great beer and some good people. Wow, 222 Malone Street. PB&J has found foam, sweet foam. And the locations PB&J visit are full of unique stories. Hal Ketchum was our carpenter for a number of years. Because it's the oldest honky tonk in Texas, man. Hal, stockbroker to a dance hall owner. Was this a, a childhood <laughs> dream or did you just wake up one day? I went to University of Texas. You know, I liked drinking a few beers back then. I would, we all do. One of my buds said, you know, you're the only guy that majored in what he was really going to do, you know. Now, did you know the place is haunted? Oh my God, that makes it so much better. He really didn't have a beer preference, huh? No. Anything that was in front of him? He uh, he always told people his favorite beer was whatever's on sale. We did the math. We figured it's probably like a six-pack a day habit. I could do it in half the time. I what makes Shiner so special? What, what do you enjoy about coming up here and being part of this place? I can get four or seven ounces of beers and don't cost me a nickel. <laughs> and one beer barrel is 13 cases three six-packs and a half a bottle of beer. It belongs to me at the end of the day. <laughs> and covering nightlife, I can't just hold a beer and talk. I'm bound to learn a few new skills. Oh, man, 1.6. 1.6. Perfect. I mean, I'm, I'm like a brewmaster. <laughs> and then uh, these bottles get to go home with us, right? Well, actually, we need to try those. Oh, we get to try them here. Yeah. Oh, even better. <laughs> I thought I had to sneak them out of here. All right, so help me with the Bach, then. OK. Something. This also smells like beer. And you said the gift shop has samples of all the beers, right? Uh, yes, sir, they do. <laughs> you know where we're at. It doesn't next. get any fresher than that in there. Mm. Are you able to teach me to dance? Do you have any rhythm at all? This is going to be yeah, bad. I, I might step on your feet. Am I going to follow your lead? All right, wait, wait, you're already losing. Am I the worst person you've ever danced with? Not bad. Oh, well, don't lie now. Step, step, one, two, three. Step. All right, so on a scale of one to ten, I'm at least a four, right? At least. And it goes without saying. Hundreds of bars, countless hours of footage, eh, add in a few cocktails, PB&J is going to be fun. People come from Britain, Germany, we get all types. If you uh, serve beer to a lot of people in the world, um, you're beer lingual. Beer lingual. And uh, he liked two things. He liked uh, drinking beer and working with his hands. I can relate to half of them. Yeah. yeah so this is oh, oh. Uh, yeah, the first <laughs> favorite that really jumps out for you. My personal favorite is the Shiner Blonde. Well, I better try a blonde. Let's get you a blonde. <laughs> Not the first time I've said that. I tell you, as you can see, the place is full of history, it's full of antiques, and well, they say hauntings, but I don't see anything yet. So cheers from Houston with PB&J. I think, I think that might be in frame. <laughs>